tonight, live at 5. Looking for the stage is set for Canada Rocks and Marianne is in the middle of it all. We're live from Prince Edward Island's Confederation Center of the Arts tonight. Could be interesting. Keep an eye on that, certainly. All right, coming up next, we're off to Prince Edward Island for, uh, well, a rockin' good time. Give you a taste of the talent that's taking center stage at the Confederation Center of the Arts. That's when Live at Five returns for Friday night, right after this. And now it's time to check in with Mariana Bashinsky, who has taken the scene on the road. Hi, Mariana. Hi, Star. Well, I am on the road in Charlottetown today at the Confederation Center of the Arts, where Canada Rocks, a brand new maritime made musical, opens tonight. Now we've already heard a couple of little bits of it. It sounds like it's going to be such a treat. And this musical is a trip across the country and it highlights the Canadian music scene and the contribution that Canadian artists have made to the international music scene. I know we've heard a little bit. It's time to hear more so I'm just going to let them take it away. Now they sound fantastic. If the audience was here, they would be clapping so much. Thank you guys. Just a little taste of what's in store for Canada Rocks opening tonight. And with me right now is Annie Allen. She is the artistic director of the Charlottetown Festival, as well as the choreographer and director for this fantastic play. Wow, it rocks. It's going to be such a treat. Wow, we certainly feel it rocks. I mean, music is so great for the soul. It just makes you want to get up there and dance and have a good time. Fantastic energy from the company here. We're thrilled to be doing this piece tonight. As you already said, it's all from Canadian content. Uh, the show was created here at the festival. Mm -hmm. And we just think it's going to be a, a brand new idea that we want to take across the country as well. Wonderful. And of course, this is just one of the fantastic productions here at the Charlottetown Festival. We can never get enough of Anne. Well, Anne is always, you know, it's like coming home to Anne. It's always dear. It's in our heart. It's in our soul. She's very much a part. Her spirit is always alive at the festival. Wonderful. And she opens tomorrow night. She opens tomorrow night. Wonderful. Well, we can't wait. Thank you so much, Annie, for joining us. Thank you guys for rocking tonight. Fantastic. And we still have more in store here from Charlottetown, so don't miss it. We are going to go backstage at a rehearsal for Canada Rock, so there's going to be a lot more rocking and celebrating going on. And I know that uh, back in the... Marianna Bashinsky in Charlottetown now, Mayor. <laughs> Thanks very much, Steve. Well, as you can see on the stage behind me right now at the Confederation Center of the Arts, the band has retreated to get ready for tonight's world premiere. We just wanted to say a quick special thanks to Lindsay Frazier, Matt Minglewood, Terry Hattie, and Mike Ross, for, and the band that they were joined with that's also going to be joined by an orchestra tonight. It's going to be an incredible full stage. They uh, took some time out of their schedule to help us out tonight, so we really appreciate that. And as you can well imagine, choosing the best of the best of Canadian music was a difficult task for Canada Rocks, the musical for the people who put it together. But Dan Vio got to sit in on a rehearsal, and he's here. Uh, live to tell us more about this rock and show. Well, Mariana, I thought you know Canada Rocks, being a being a being a guy raised on the Beatles and the Stones, you know, meant rock music. 
or as it turns out, while there are lots of hard driving tunes, you know, in, in the musical, the title really means music made in Canada rocks. <laughs> If was the basis of this Gordon Lightfoot Canadian classic. If I had million, 22 years later, If helped create another classic. But If was the challenge for the co-writers of Canada Rocks. If we put in Lightfoot and the Bare Naked Ladies, who do we have to leave out? And how can we make the best Canadian music blend together in a story about a journey across Canada and through time? There is a journey involved uh, in conjunction with the story, or rather the story in conjunction with the journey. And knitting this all together are the tunes. So it's all about the tunes, but there are implications of larger things, cultural things. National identity. We solve the national identity problem. I think it's the first time it's ever going to been done in this country. So we, we we're going to tell you who we are. Popular music really does represent that. And in a way, the medium is the message. When you hear the songs, when you see the people doing it, you think, oh, yeah, okay, that belongs to us. You know? Very few people know that uh, that great Buddy Holly hit, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, was written by Paul Anka. Classic Cape Breton rocker Matt so Minglewood says, the show isn't about imitation, it's about well, honoring excellent lyrics and tunes. Some of them work so well the way they were, you know, that you have to try and stay uh, fairly close to that, but add, also giving a little of, of your own, because, I mean, you can't, uh, I mean, I can't be Brian Adams, I, can't, I don't sing like him, so, but I have to sing my version of Brian Adams, but still try and stay true to the essence of what the song, what made the song great. From Paul Anka to Bruce Coburn to Alanis Morissette, Canada Rocks is sure to have everyone in the audience singing along at some point in their heads and hearts. It's fascinating to know that the idea for Canada Rocks was actually generated by the late night jam sessions that take place here, involving musicians and singers from the other Charlottetown Festival shows, including Anne of Green Gables. Wow, yeah. so I guess Anne really rocks too. Anne rocks. Thank you so much, Dan. We really appreciate it. It was fun. And uh, it's going to be a great show tonight, no doubt. Canada Rocks opens tonight at the Confederation Center of the Arts. Anne of Green Gables, we love her. She opens tomorrow night here. More information at www.confederationcenter.com. Bruce, what do you think? Are you ready to rock? I'm thinking it's a great weekend to go to PEI. That's what I'm thinking. Definitely a good plan. All right, thanks, Mariana. Thank you, Bruce. Hey you, thanks for watching. You should click the like button and subscribe to my channel.